Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to Weekly Astrology. And what a week it is. A pivotal week in the history and the history and the history of humanity. This is a week of the US general election. And I've noticed that a lot of astrologers are not talking about it. They're like, let me just hide. I can't predict who's going to win. I'm not going to mention it. I cannot not mention it. Number one, I know it's causing all of us, wherever you're coming from, supreme anxiety, stress. You know, there's a lot of emotion. We've got all the feels going on uh, this week. And it's an incredibly important time for the whole world, not just America, because whoever gets in is going to be a massive policy maker and change things that are going to impact us all. Anyway, what's really interesting is there's not that much going on this week, although one crucial an extraordinary thing is that we have Mercury going direct on the very day of the general election. Now, the last time this happened was in 2000, when Al Gore and Bush had the same thing, Mercury going direct on that day. And what happened? There was a very unclear count. It took ages to resolve. It ultimately went to the Supreme Court. Yes, the Supreme Court, which has recently had a judge change. And then it, it was resolved. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people carried through the bitterness of that election in their heart. Are we going to see the same thing? It's quite likely. I don't believe there's going to be a clear cut decision on the day. And even if there is, we're looking at a lot of chaos. I would say until December. But I think by the time we get to the end of November, we'll, we'll see where we're going. Um, the other thing that's starting to happen this week from the 7th is we're going to start to feel that Jupiter and Pluto conjunction, which kind of hits its peak on the 12th. And then there should be breakthrough. The amazing astrologer Jessica Adams is pre predicting that Biden will win. And she says that, the, you know, it's such an important turning point in history and it offers positive hope. And she's really good at predicting things. So I'll leave the prediction to her. But I will say we are heading towards a time of freedom, of transformation, of coming together that will hit next year and will come to a, a monumental change in 2023. So whatever you're feeling now, I promise you there is hope and there is possibility and there is change where we are all going to feel a lot more equal. And I truly believe that. So this week I'm doing this extremely long introduction just to say Whatever and whoever you want to win this election, please take care of yourself. Let's take care of each other. Let's try not to be so polarised because it isn't getting us anywhere. You know, there's more or less, you know, whatever, whatever you're looking at, 40, 60, 50, 50 in this. We've got to find a way to support each other and understand that we're all one. We, we are not two separate parts of a whole. Anyway, I'll stop going on now. Here is your weekly astrology. Hey Virgo, well, Mercury, your ruler is going direct. Hurrah, yeah baby, you are feeling so much lighter. Fingers crossed, so much better. And allowing yourself to open up and trust your voice again, particularly when it comes to your sense of security and abundance and nesting and, and all things to do with you feeling secure within yourself. That can also mean external sources of money and, you know, abundance. But fundamentally, you should get clearer answers about where you're going in terms of how to feel secure. Of course, you know, security comes from within you. It's not an external thing. Even when the world's in chaos, if you can be secure in yourself, it's much easier to get through. And you'll be seeing those signposts now to, to be able to lay clearer foundations because it's been very chaotic for you. Now, actually, all year, but reaching a peak next week, but maybe even that peak might start, start to climb from the 7th, is your determination to find happiness, true joy, to, to tap into what brings you pleasure, what excites your soul, what is your, your true happiness. That's connected to relationships, it's connected to children, it's connected to your creativity. And this big Jupiter and Pluto conjunction is like the final push for you to really know what direction to go in. And something is ending and you are stretching yourself to allow yourself that happiness 
and that joy and that connection. And it's about trusting that process. I think it's all going to kick off next week, but certainly inside yourself, there's a growing passion and desire and trust in the fact that things need to change and things are going to change. And uh, an ending of the old way of being is inevitable as you stretch and you reach out for the truth, the truth of your soul and your spirit about what makes you happy. Now, you know, we live in a time where, you know, an Instagram time where happiness is, is marked in a very unrealistic way. Nobody, nobody is happy all the time. I'm not talking about that kind of happiness, but I'm talking about the joy of, of being true to your soul, being true to your spirit. And that gives a, 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 a truly different form of happiness than, than material things can give us. It gives us a happiness which is evolving and expanding and, and lights up our spirit. And that's where you're heading. So that is very good news. Um, and as I say, you're coming to very soon to the end of that journey in a brand new world, which already you've got glimpses of. Let us see what the tarot has to say, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, Mercury is still in retro shadow, as you know, but definitely your mind is much clearer and you will know how to find that sense of security within yourself and potentially in, in, in the outside world is bringing in more security for you as well. Okay, Virgo, 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 is there a little tarot message? The Ten of Cups, you're reaching a crescendo of, of emotional connection and positive vibes. There is a twist of fate coming, which is, as far as I'm concerned, indicated by this big Jupiter and Pluto conjunction. Your life, your world is changing. Look out for a strange synchronicity or something that's happening that's kind of meant to be in some way. And yeah, you've got the sword of truth there. You're cutting through the crap. There it may be, also indicated by the astrology, a shift in your abundance for the better. And you're going, wow, you know, where did that come from? There has been, or there could be upheaval connected to this, but Jupiter and Pluto, well, whenever there's Pluto, there's always the tower, really. There, there is, it's the end of something. It's drama for you to get your needs and your desires. But you're strong enough to do it. You are, you are strong. Maybe be someone around you reacting to this change that you're going through. But this is you. The Nine of Pentacles, stable, you know, grounded and, and knowing where you're going from the right, coming from the right place. Well... It looks dramatic, but it also holds massive potential for you. Do come visit me on my website, michellenight.com. My new Celtic Cross Tarot reading should be up by now. Um, it's supposed to be launching today. And I'm doing this on uh, the previous Monday. So go and check it out, michellenight.com. I think it's forward slash Celtic Cross, but if not, just go to michellenight.com, click free readings. Let me know what you think. So much love to you. Take care, gorgeous. MichelleKnight.com. I was a client of Michelle Knight, so I knew all of the, the psychics and they'd read for me. It's such a innovative and really useful organisation to have at your fingertips. There are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is, they have an idea of you know what a psychic should and shouldn't do, and a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival side show. That and Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for. It's a unique family, and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading, and I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got the job, I, I pray that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight was, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. The interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics. So surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two or three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings and this beautiful distinctive voice, it's Michelle Knight here, I'm ringing you for my test reading, is on the other end of the line, is scary. She, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations. You get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball. 
the flexibility we get as readers, well, that's just great. I do love the freedom of when I can work and when I can have a break. The Shell Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for michellenight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.